Have tonight some teachers waiting for pay, some students waiting for laptops. Now, and these are just some of the issues that came up during a DC Council oversight hearing focused on how the DC public school system is spending its money. It was illuminating. Delia mm -hmm. Gonzalez is here to talk about what this means for families. And D, I guess this is important because it's almost budget time for the next school year, but there are mm -hmm. major money issues they need to handle right now. Yeah, a lot of folks very frustrated. In fact, I just tuned in and that council hearing, which started at 1.30, just ended at five o'clock, so they had lots of questions. I'm hearing at least 40 teachers have not received their bonuses and some students, as you mentioned, still waiting for laptops. We are three months into the school year. Council Chairman Phil Mendelson and advocates not happy with DCPS saying the school system is not being transparent about its budgeting process that impacts thousands of children. We need to have an uh, independent audit. WTU President Jacqueline Pogue Lyons now calling for a review of the DC public school system and its finances, saying top administrators within DCPS central office outspend 10 times the national average. We have to be uh, more thoughtful um, when we are thinking about where our dollars are going, especially when you think about the um, achievement gap. DC Council passed a law last year to prevent that alleged overspending, requiring DCPS to fully fund schools first and early before taking a piece of its own pie. Last year, DCPS missed the deadline, giving schools just two weeks during school vacation to make difficult financial decisions. The goal is to ensure that schools get their budgets uh, as early as possible. All right, well, I, I hope you can achieve that goal because when it, there will be there could be challenges around this budget and you don't want to compound those challenges with people feeling like they were jammed. School leaders on the hot seat for over three hours fielding questions on the budget process impacting teacher salaries and student technology. Why didn't you advance the nine million dollars that you claimed was needed and claimed that the council cut to purchase laptops for students for the school year at the start of the school year? Schools Chancellor Lewis Farabee says delayed teacher bonuses are being processed and new laptops will be purchased. But the holdup? Red tape and a convoluted budgeting process. That means some money is tied up in the city administrator's office until January. I heard the chancellor say that I was disingenuous. And to me, that's equal to say that I was lying. I'm giving facts. And as I mentioned, that hearing lasted about four hours. Council members trying to hold school leaders accountable to fairly fund our public schools. Budget talks for next school year already begin in February, and that is right around the corner. Les? Uh, Dee, I know you're going to do a lot more excavation here, but it sounds like they don't even know what to do with the money they do have. So that's a whole other issue. Absolutely. All right.